Welcome back to Brick Tech. My name is Doug, and in this video, we're going to start a new project. We're going to use the Materialize CSS front-end framework to create a new website. This is a strictly front-end CSS HTML JavaScript project. We're not going to be using React in this one. Um, and we're just going to recreate a website using the Materialize CSS framework. If you've used Bootstrap before, Materialize is going to seem very similar to you. The class names are a little different, but it's basically the same thing with a different style and feel. So getting started with Materialize is very simple. You can just download it to your computer. You can download the SAS version if you're a SAS user uh, in the SCSS file that you can then edit and then compile on your own. Or you can download Materialize pre-compiled files, or you can add the CDNs to your project. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna add both the CSS and the JavaScript for Materialize to our project. Here I've got a simple HTML boilerplate. The only thing I've done is change the materialized tutorial title. And we're just going to go ahead and add in our CSS. And we are also going to add in our JavaScript. Now, that's not all we need. We also need to do a couple other things. Uh, to get this project started, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of folders. I'm going to create one called Assets. Then inside of assets, I'm going to create a couple more folders. One called images, or IMG. One called JS for the JavaScript we'll use, and one for CSS. Uh, and in each of these files I'm, or in folders, I'm going to create a file. I'm going to create a new file here. I'm just going to call it styles.css, and this is going to be our custom styles. And the cool thing about Atom, I can go ahead and right-click here, copy the project path, and we can add that in easily. This is a style sheet as well. And we go ahead and copy in our path. And that will be our custom styles. And then also we need to add in our uh, file in our JavaScript folder. And this will be our custom scripts. I'm going to call this scripts.js. And we can go ahead and add that one as well. The text equals JavaScript is no longer technically required, but since I have it auto completed, I'm not going to remove it. And I'm going to go ahead and say source equals. Go ahead and copy that path like we did before. And now we just want to test and make sure these are working. So let's go to our styles. We'll just say We'll just set the background to pink and make sure that everything is working like it should be. And so now all we need to do is load up our new project. And the background is pink. So we are at the starting point. So now that we have our boilerplate all ready, we're ready to decide on what we want to build. And I'm going to build a simple portfolio website using Materialize. And depending on how it turns out, we might just replace my current one, which is at douglasburg.com if you want to check that out. So stay tuned in the coming videos, and we will dig deep into Materialize and see what we can put together. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.